Okay, that's over. Episode 6. I really liked episode 6. It was a good episode. Look, I really liked that it showed the maturity that the CMC have overtake have over overtaken. No, that's not the right word. Um Not overtaken. Um What's the right word? <laughs> I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Um But it it show it shows how much they've matured since we first met the hmm. I mean more so Sweet Bell uh Appaloom and Skulu were kinda like just there. Or her her We know Apple Bloom has a has an episode where she'll probably fe feature more prominently coming up pretty soon. And Hopefully, Skulu will get in our episode soon. Hmm, you know, Sleepless in Point Evil and the Equestria Games episodes were quite a while ago. Come on. Um, but yeah. So, this was a very nice sister episode. This, you know, it, sh it showed. How much their relationship has matured as well. You know, it showed that rarity. He, he cares as mu much about her relationship with Sweet Bell now as Sweet Bell did back in like Sister Hope Social. Oh. Well, It's really come a long way since then. Um, that was like the first step. That was the first episode to get they had together. In fact, I was, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to remember if that was like the episode we confirmed that. You know, I think that was the first episode we saw them together. You know, because although when I first watched it, I was like that small white pony. It looks like she could easily be related to Rarity. I, that was before I had seen the episode that like confirmed they were sisters, which I think was a Mr. Social. I can't remember for a fact if that was the first time we saw them together. Feel free to correct me if I am wrong. That was not the first time we saw them together, but I think that was the episode they were confirmed to be sisters. Like obviously, to me that was the episode. Like some of you, long, more long term fans may have known that already. Maybe it was like in the preview for I don't know. I don't know. The disadvantage of not being a long term fan. But it does, this episode does show how much their relationship has matured since Sister of Social. And this is, this go this harpers back a bit to what I was talking about in episode. For episodes, for episode five, uh, episode five's review, I said that episode five, he had no build up. This had beautiful, perfect build up. It's because we got a few episodes showing the build up of the relationship. <coughs> excuse me, uh, between Rarity and Sweet Bell. And this was beautifully done. It was beautifully done. You know, it's it showed that, you know... And if this does not confirm that some time has passed, I don't know what will. You cannot look at this episode and tell me less than one year has fucking passed. Yes. Yet, 
flurry of emotions, the cake twins still full in diapers. Yet, if you remember, um, Philly Vanilli, which is, uh, hated on by a lot of people because, uh, they feel Pinkie Pie was out of character because of her, her, uh, moments with Flourish, high where she, like, reduced her to tears. But, this episode had a character who was in that episode. That's that little Phil, he with, like, the rich daddy who, I don't know, she seemed a lot less snobby than Diamond TR. She didn't really seem that important. But, you know, this showed she was much bigger. Her dog had even grown up. She was. She looked about the same age as the CMC. When the first time we saw her, she was fucking tiny. He, he she was flying around like a little, like, um, I can't think of a fast fly, but you know, she was shooting around the place, no problem. I, you know, I bet that's pissed would have pissed school off if she saw this. But that, that, that's besides the point. This shows she has grown up a little bit. So that tells me time has passed. Don't be afraid to acknowledge time passing in the HX Hasbro. Come on. You don't need to keep the characters the same age forever. You can tell us more stories as they grow up, as they Gain more life experience. This makes me hopeful that the next time we see the Cake Twins, they won't still be in fucking diapers. I don't know when the next time we will see them. Who knows? But Flurry Heart, is she gonna be a baby forever? Hopefully not. Hopefully we'll see her grow. Hopefully we'll see her, you know, grow competent, have actual dialogue. Have a voice, have her, you know, have episodes where she can play more for promo in part rather than just be he, he having a little well, aunt and baby niece fun with Twilight. While Fury of Emotions was good for Flurry Heart as a young character, if she, if we see how she grows up and how she develops her her relationships with characters like Twilight, you can have her see how she grows up, you know, interacting with our princesses, how she grows up in the Crystal Empire. If she, there's so much possibilities, and the same is can be said. With the CMC showing how they grow is a big part of their character. There's, there's, we. That's the reason why everyone was so. Felt like the, When I saw the episode where they got their Kmart, I felt proud like I was their father's. I was like, good for them. They worked for it. They got at their knee, and and. And, and their hard work has finally paid off. And a lot of people felt that way. Because they saw how much effort and how much determination the CMC he put into their, their efforts to get their key marks. And, and how much they grew up, how much they learned on that path. Now, you can't just say they did that in less than a year. It can't have been in less than a year. That's why you need to acknowledge that time is passing. It will benefit you in the end. Another episode four is also an indication that time has passed because when we first met Mod, we knew Pinkie Pie did. Said that you know Mod would be going to get her rock to pull, see, and it's, you wouldn't see Mod for a long time. Hmm. 
And then episode oh, oh, for her this season, she got that. See, he, he, she became she she accomplished what Pinkie Pie had initially. He said she had said uh, Ma had set out to do, and she had done that. You're telling me that happened in less than a year? You can't get a doctorate in a year. You can't. Which is why this episode, for me, is the best of this season so far. It shows beautifully how well the bond between Rarity and Sweepa has grown from Sisterhood Social. How much, much closer they are. How much more or they have how closer they've grown, you know, their bond, and you could see that initially, it was like, Rarity only wanted to focus on her work, she didn't really, he seemed like she cared about Sweet Belle and the sister of Osho, but it took, took a push from Applejack in that episode, but, and Rarity, he took part in the sister of Social. And that's the start of the build-up to this episode that has shown how far Rarity has come from not caring, not really giving a, a shit about what her sister wants and needs in from a, a sister relationship with Rarity. This shows Rarity going in the extra mile, stepping, going out of her way to really show how much, how far she has come, how far the relationship between the two sisters has come. It's really good to see. It is really good to see. He, he, after the, ep after episode five, we needed a good episode. This is a good episode. If you are, I now if you've avoided this until you know the the weekend of of um of May thirteenth. If you're watching this on May thirteenth, I completely understand. You want to avoid spoilers. That's perfectly fine. For those of you who saw this episode with me he on, the, on May 6th, I hope everyone can appreciate this episode for what it is. It was wonderful. And I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I really don't want to give it a 10. I don't know why. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. It showed great stuff. It was a great episode. It was... I feel like it'll be sandwiched between two really bad ones. But this... If Season 7 ends up being really bad, this will be the shining star that will stand out. Oh, oh above all else. This is great work. This is what we need. We need some more of this. And I hope everyone else enjoyed this episode as well. And that is the review for episodes 4, 5, and 6. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um... I'll probably review, I'll probably post episode 7 maybe tomorrow or whenever or I get to see it. Um, and I've had a few people ask me on Twitter, where the hell have I been? Why haven't I been posting videos? Who's? I'm, I'm, once, what, Wednesday or Thursday, we're, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled 
you know, secondary career mode, main career mode, Uncharted. It, I'll be finishing Uncharted 1. I don't know if I'll be playing the other Uncharted games because I'm fucking hating Uncharted 1. But, you know, we'll, we'll see where, where that goes. But for, for Episode 6, it's a big thumbs up. Episodes 4 and 5, 4 and 5, big thumbs down. Shit on it, bury it, fucking burn the grave. But episode 6 was the gleaming light in a dark, dark, dark episode. Which, set of episodes, which is ironic. Episode 7, I'm expecting it to be bad. So whenever it comes out, I'll review it. And... Ooh, I will be merciless. Like I was for episode 5, I will be merciless. So, episode 6, I'll be, uh, I'll be re-watching this when episode 7 initial eventually lets me down. Luckily. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Ooh, so you don't miss any heat of my future uploads. Hit the click on the bell so you get notification of when I'm be upload. And the uh, regular uploads will resume soon. In just a few more days. Don't worry about it. it but um, yeah. MLP, a met episode for four, a terrible episode for five, but six was a home run. Have a good evening. Hmm. Goodbye.